So Rolling Stones dropped their top 100 R&B list for the 21st century. Yep. And this shit is fucking garbage, bro. Let's be honest. This is very trash. Like, I need you guys to do better. I don't know what intern you hired to make this list, but it's god awful, bro. Like, I, I do like, all right, so some things I do like about it. I liked mm-hmm. how they put Ari Lennox, Sir yeah. is in there, number 22, John yeah. Redcorn. I actually really love that song. That's a mm-hmm. great R&B record. So there's a couple of, like, tidbits of some good people in there, but I mean, Let's be, bro. Goodies is on there by Sierra. Goodies. Bro, I can't. Is, I can't not. listen to Sir now because of D Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Why? I felt. Why? Bet- I felt betrayed. Why? Why? Why does that make you feel betrayed? Do you feel like that leaned him into winning the the show that he was on? I mean, yeah, he was. That's the like. But he was also fucking talented. Yeah, that was the most industry plant shit I've seen. <sighs> right in our face. <laughs> It's, all right, right really, in our face it was the lie, most it's industry like, plant you know shit. it's gonna be kind of suede and then after he won they just bumped up the industry plant shit because he kept getting grammy noms fucking artist of the year bullshit name one d smoke song Ah, I mean, it's you, fine. You we can go a, the whole 13 minutes. <laughs> you're not going to think of a D Smoke song. You make a point right there. I never really listened to D Smoke is because I feel like with D Smoke, I, I, since I came from an audio engineering background, mm-hmm. usually when they break out new artists, they'll make your mixes sound like another artist mixes yeah. who already popping. They try to do it with JID. They made JID sound like Kendrick would never, mm-hmm. but um, they they made all his mixes Which turned sound me off like Kendrick. from JID. Yeah, early. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's because when I heard Never, I, I was like, oh, this is a fake Kendrick. Yeah. This is a Kendrick clone. But then he ended up creating his own sound, yeah. which I appreciate about him. But I feel like with D Smoke, they never really created his own sound. It's like, we're going to make this sound like Kendrick, but the second verse is going to speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and he can play the piano. I feel like that's the only thing they did it's with It's because once D I Smoke. have the artist, I don't need a some like, like slightly yeah. similar artists like i have kendrick i don't need a, a jid that kendrick. sound like yeah. and at first that's why i didn't like jid because i was like well mm. i have kendrick yes and same with like a lot of these melodic rappers and stuff i was like well i already have uzi i don't need somebody who all the, like i don't them. need nine other people that sound like uzi yeah. i don't need like this stuff like that um i think my biggest issue with this list is when they put like in the top 10 certain artists songs it's not even their best song, let alone... That, bro, number one being Confessions Part 2 yeah. kills me, bro. Burn should is way yeah, better Burn's than Confessions, bro. Way better. Burn is way better, uh, bro. Frank Ocean, Thinking About You. That's not even Frank Ocean's best song. That's true, but I do like that song. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, d- I actually do like it's that It's nowhere song. better than Novocaine. Ah, but Novocaine is a pop record, though. What do you? Novocaine's just as R and B as fucking. Nah, thinking, thinking about, about you, you is way more R and B than the Novocaine. Bro. I would say the opposite. You think so? For yeah. real? I feel um, like Novocaine is very unless it's like that that last like three. And to especially five back minutes. then, because no pop songs were talking about fucking fucking bitches on cocaine back then. That wasn't a pop thing. Ah, I, I mean during that time, but that's always been a thing with R and B. Yeah, it's always about with R and B, not love, pop. Doing shit. Mm. Ah, but it's just like bro it's just a pop ass beat it's a four on the floor pop beat that's the only reason why i think it's not better than pyramids Uh, it's not though i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie even though it's it's very gay song but but forrest gump (laughs) running through my mind boy (laughs) did you uh i will sing the lyrics as is bro (laughs) i don't care that one, um, Crack Rock, where he talks about putting a oh, gla- glass, I, glass I, dick to his mouth. I love Crack uh, Rock, bro. Like, <laughs> he really had us singing sus lyrics yeah. so hard. <laughs> crack Rock, Crack Rock. <laughs> Forrest Gump is really so. It's hard to sing that one. It's, it is sh- not talking about him, me, like, bro. showering. You're, you're, so, uh, you're so strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, bro. Nah, all right. What else? What else? Adorn not making top 10 is not d- d- insane. <sighs> I respect it for being 11, but it should be top it should 10. Be top it 10. really that's a great R&B record. record. Ordinary people shouldn't be in the top Ordinary 10. Ordinary people should not be classified as R&B. It shouldn't. See, I never Man, I never like the I never people. like the R&B pop argument. And that's more like that's I call it pop is because it's church like the the structure is very much of a church core progression. Would that be gospel and soul. Yeah, it's more gospel and soul than R. But they combine R and B and soul into one category. I feel like personally with this list, they were just like, you know what? 
I mean, you know, they're black, even though this is pop music, it's R and B is because they're black. I feel like that's what they did with There's this a lot list. of that. I feel like that's exactly what There's they did. There's a lot did. of that. It's because fronting is number twelve. I love that song. That's one of my mm-hmm. favorite songs. But is it an R and B record? No. No. That's like um Sam Smith's first album. Well not his first, but uh the one with all the hits. Oh uh, yeah, straight pop. I wouldn't say that's a pop album to me. That one Something song, but uh, yeah, but I mean, um, like, uh, yeah, he did have some R&B bangers. That, on that there, song, is, that lie. album is a amazing, and yeah. there's a lot of like soulful shit on there. But it's pop because he's white. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, that's that's very true. Yeah, and I think it's because we know him from a pop record. We don't really know. I feel like his R&B is more album. Like, classic. stay with me is very gospel It's got a yeah, choir it, and all that in there. Yeah, it's not that. Get ASAP album. on the remix. Yeah, ASAP is on a remix. Yeah. That, I gotta listen. I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Rocky what? was on the remix. That's crazy, bro. What, what's another? I don't like how they got "You Rock My World" is twenty, but they got "Snooze" is nineteen. Yeah, I don't like so snooze. That, that should be even... forty, bro. Yeah, and they is... got "Love" by Keisha Cole at like number fifty-seven. Bro, are you are you dumb? Yeah. And "Drunken Love" is no way on this list. That it, that should at least be top thirties, bro. They got love on top at 14, bro. Kill yourself. I do real, love real. Janet Jackson all for you though. That's a Oh, that's a great. That's I a still great play record. that in my And uh oh the Brandy Full Moon. Mm-hmm. Is that <sighs> top ten to you though? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I listened to that and I, I remembered it. I'm like <sighs> bro, top twenty for me probably, but it's still it has a rightful place. My thing is on that list. I think my biggest issue is just that like if you think of a song by an artist. I think you then have to think: Is this their best song? Mm-hmm. And is their best R and B song? Yeah. that's that's the real thing. Is this really R and B? That's not his best song. But I still love that song, though. You remember that Bond? A potato flew around. Yes. <laughs> I think about that every single time, bro. But nah, dog. They really just missed the mark on that bullshit, bro. Like that shit is ridiculous. I like how they gave Ari Lennox. They gave Lucky Day a spot. I think they really like stretched it by putting Brent on that 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 list. Yeah. Jackie Brown of all, like I love that song. Like in this wild is because a lot of these songs are actually very fire, but a lot of these songs are not R and B, and that's what's making people mad, bro. That's what doesn't sit right to me. I think we R and B is so many different things though. Like like Brent is more neo soul. Yeah. But that still falls that's under R and B. That's a R&B. great way to that's just a, that's put still it. a branch of R and B. But R and B is straight like if y'all that's your auntie music, bro. That's that music <laughs> that like dead ass it make you feel like you you it's gotta mop the kitchen and stuff. Yeah, it's like mm. you eleven, you like, why wow, I feel horny right now. That's because of mm. She playing D'Angelo right now. Oh, bro, and they had Jill Untitled. Scott. No, I thought you meant D'Angelo. I ain't a lot of a good record. I wouldn't put it number two. I personally wouldn't put it. Number I'd two. put Cruising over Untitled for me. Definitely, maybe. bro. But, but um, but no, they got Jill Scott a long walk at hmm. like forty nine. That's just disrespectful. That's mad disrespectful, bro. Like, that's mad disrespectful, dog. To, to Jillian. Oh my god. Shout out to Jill Scott. It's because they did her bad on that. I do not like that whatsoever, dog. And then let me think. Did you ever try to make an R&B song? Hell no. I feel like you wanted to be an oh, R&B Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be part of an R&B hip-hop group. I, I, see, I, I knew-